Hi everybody, if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. And if you've here, been here before, welcome back. So today I wanted to do a flip through of my um, planner rings, my personal planner rings. A lot has changed since my last flip through, so I just wanted to stop here and share. So if we open it up, I've kept it very minimal on my pockets. Um, just want to do it more functional. I want to do something more functional. For now, I have like this November calendar. And then this little thing that, uh, this little card that says this planner belongs to. And it returned. I haven't filled it out, um, but I will. And then just this little like white butterfly um, little card. My printer, I noticed if I print stuff out, the ink will like transfer rub off. So that's why that's there. Um, I'm not sure if I can clean it. In my front pocket, I have a few Halloween stickers, like Hello Kitty stickers. Um, I didn't know what to do with them, but they're Halloween, so it's perfect for this month. So I kept them here. And then my family picture, which I'm probably going to integrate in the back. But yeah. So since everything's rubbing off here, I put this little, um, like, what is it, plastic? It's harder than acetate, so it's just like a little plastic, which I had as a page lifter in the back. But I decided to add it to the front to make sure like my front, uh, everything in my front doesn't get stained. So I have this little bow bookmark from Simply Created Doodles. This is really cute. And then this was a thank you card from Cat Espresso Co. But because it was pink and bows, I just decided to add it on here. And if I, you know, right when I open my planner, this is what it looks like. And then I go to my vellum from Infinite, Infinite Lotus. And then I created this positive affirmation, which I've flipped through. I've showed it in another flip. And then my page that I use for pre-planning and a yearly, like a year at a glance. Uh, page don't mark anything usually uh, for work sometimes I have to like count weeks like 12 weeks from now we're gonna get something so this makes it really easy to go and count the weeks um, and then I have a few trigger lists um, this one is from the planner spot it's actually a freebie so I printed it out on paper and then the back I put um, like this cheetah pattern my printer has been transferring, so eventually I'll probably just reprint these. But this is the planning um, trigger list. This is the setting, uh, the goal setting trigger list. And then the cleaning trigger list. And they all have the same pattern in the back. This one is a trigger list, like a master list that I created for myself. Um, and then I just did like a paint splatter in the back. Here I'll uh, find like some Monday reminders. Um, this is what I do every Monday. So I pretty much know what I have to do, but just in case I have it here. This is a master catch all home cleaning little list. Um, if there's something that I need to do that I don't do like every day or every week, I just write it down. Like if I go around and I see something that I have to do, I um I put it here like clean behind the stove. I actually did that. This list is pretty old and I haven't checked it off, but I actually did that like two weeks ago. So I just have to do like behind the fridge, be uh, like under the bed, deep clean the fridge, like the freezer, like the blinds, kitchen cabinets, and then clean the windows. So this is a coffee um order that I saw came across somewhere. So I just stuck it here. Um, behind here is the sticky notes with some of like the October bills. Not gonna show you because there's some totals on there, but it's just easier to flip here to my inbox and not like my finance section of my planner. So this is just like a reminder. Um, this one here, it's a great accomplishment. I actually finished um, paying off my kids' braces as of September. So um, because it's on, it was on auto payment, I put this here to make sure they don't charge me, um, which you shouldn't. But um, just a reminder there that we have this trifold from Cat Espresso Co. Uh, I just got it last week. So nothing's um, like you can put stickies and stuff in here. I haven't put anything in here. 
I have pictures of my kids, like their school pictures, just so cute. Um, I have to find a better place for them, but I actually just cut them out from the package like the school sends you, and I put them in here. So I have them here, so I know I have to put them somewhere else. And in the back, um, I actually wanted to make a list, like maybe an inbox or a tracker before the year ends. So stuff that I have to do um, before the year ends, which is self-explanatory, but thought it was pretty cool. And then we have my inbox, um, which is my general inbox. And then this is my like stuff to do at home or home projects. Um, I don't know if you can see it, if it shows up on, like shows up on camera, sorry. But um, once I'm done, completely done with the task, I cross it off with like a little gray marker um and i have it quarter color coordinated so anything pink is urgent purple is soon and then the like yellow or peach is someday so it's just easier if i'm going through i go through this almost every day and then i always look at the pink okay this is like stuff that i have to do like asap um i haven't color coordinated the back but um because these are like fairly new like new tasks and then this is my home inbox which is like backyard fertilizer like um my son's uh curtains in the room like the fridge water filter like i have a little thing a flag outside i needed to order a fall one because the summer or spring had been there since spring so and then i have a blank one um i just keep one to in case I need it, like to jot stuff down. And then here is another um, pocket from Cat Espresso Co. Um, on in here, I'm, I kept some of the Halloween stickers that I got from Haley's Handmade Co. And then there's another video, in-depth video um, on my YouTube channel that I'll link below um, showing you what I got from the shop. So there, this particular um, like, insert has a a half page or the the i don't know what it's called sorry so much stuttering but it has a, a pocket here and then in the back it has like a secretary pocket and then um we have this with a picture of my dog and my husband and then i am beautiful little sticker um these actually are stuck in here and they actually stain the plastic so they're like very stuck um so i want to remove them but i don't want like the block to show up so i need to figure something out but until i'm ready to do that i just left it there and then we flip into the first tab um and it's the month i printed this out from my minimal planner on textured paper i'm not sure if the camera picks it up and there's like a little stain here, but it's like textured and it's, uh, I think it's 24 pound paper. Um, so yep, yeah, there it is. It's blank in the back, but yeah, I just want to print this out and, um, I will link, um, her shop below. And then I have these, these, uh, this color is a color that I chose to use like in October. Um, like throughout my planner. So I just put it here because if I put it back on my desk, I most often will like lose it in the stash or, you know, so I just decided to put it, he'll punch it and put it here so I can have them handy. And we continue with the monthly. Um, so this is from cloth and paper and you've probably seen most of this before. Um, I have my monthlies here. Um, not much has changed. I did add, um, these monthly intentions. So I will, con I will start using them in November. I just got them from also my minimal planner. I didn't know where to put them in the, in my planner yet. I just bought them and I just printed them out. So I left them here. So I know that they're here and I can fill them out and, you know, re like place them later on. My second tab is my weeklies. And um, I obviously have like a trigger list and then we go into my weekly menu. So I have last week's. I haven't started on this week because I don't know what we're going to eat just yet. But 
there it is. This is what we ate last week and I have like the week before. And um, at the end of October, which is already next week, I'll clean this up and then I'll remove them. This is my weekly from the, from not last week, the week of the third. And then this is my weekly from last week. So I just had some stuff to do. My sister went on vacation and I babysat. Um, and then I have like some Monday chores, which I want to do it into a list, but I just have a, like a sticky. It's just, I don't even have my planner in front of me. Sometimes I'm working and I just dot stuff, stuff down. So I just added it here. So I be reminded that I need to type this up or I need to add it somewhere else. And then this is a bookmark from my Simply uh, Doodle Co, I think. Um, I will link it down be below, but it's just like a jelly with um, mining and vinyl. So that's what that is. And then we go on to this week. These are not my favorite weekly um, weeklies. I probably shared that before. I'm trying to see what if I have like another one that I can share. Like I really like these weeklies. This one, I just left a blank, but I usually use it. Um, and this one too, which this side is already um, filed away. But I decided to give it another try just because I have them. So, um, I don't care for it because I don't, I can't fit my, my stickers in here. And there's not very many, like very much space to write. So in the front and in the back of the weekly, there's, um, like graph paper that is blank. So I decided to use it. So I have like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to do like I have to send out a few packages I have to do like prof and loss or like loss report I have to get my son's uh doctor note signed by the doctor I have to pay registration and then I have to submit some insurance documentation and in the back we're going somewhere on Friday so it's just a list of stuff that I need to bring I need to work on some insurance stuff and just like documents that I need to put together to send out um, so right behind that is a responsibility log. This is from, uh, Peanuts Planner Co. I believe I will link it down below. So I have one for my son and one for my daughter. So it's just like their daily chore, like chores, like their daily chores that they have to do. So I'll track them here. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Monday, Tuesday, my son has a game. Wednesday, he has practice. So I'll just keep filling this out. Um, same thing for my daughter. She has um, chores, which she did some of these this morning. But then she has um, club Monday and Tuesday. And then Wednesday, she is like a team manager for my son's uh team and she's also in the yearbook so she every time they have a game she has to go so i just have to fill this out um and then this is these are pretty old this is like back in september but i did the same thing i when i use this um weekly that i'm not too excited about i did use the front for notes just for more space i um have this in here oh and it's it's in the wrong it's in the wrong um place but um it's just a weekly behavior and I actually did this myself um you know I'm dealing with teenagers so I just want to track like our their moods like are they in the, in a bad mood in a good mood what happened and then how did I react and you know what I can do different it's very small it, it doesn't have too much space to write but it's just like for a quick thought um, it's, you know, it's not to write a novel. It's just like, um, I can write, be more patient for myself or, you know, um, my son was sad or mad. Why? Like, what was the reason? What happened? So I can correlate it together. And, um, this is something that I created. Um, if anybody is interested, I know that this probably pertains best to smaller kids, but if you're interested, let me know. I can always add it to my Etsy and my shop. Um, and then we jump into the dailies, um, which I have this bookmark right in front. Um, 
and it says today you can see it so it says today but i like to keep today in the front so it's usually like from go from previous date to the soonest or till today so it's kind of backwards um so this is i haven't finished today um i just wanted to jump in and record this video so i have like last week and you can see that i use like sometimes i use colors some days i use stickers some days it has more than others like the, i love the way i did this with the stickers sometimes i have to plan and my stickers aren't in front of me um this day i decided to use like a brown or maroon color so i really let pink green i really let myself um not follow like a pattern and sometimes they're not aesthetically pleasing to be honest and they're not just minimal and they're not decorative but this is just what works for me after this is my trackers i kept this in here uh, despite adding like a lot of colorful stuff because i love this quote tough times never last but tough people do and it's very true and um i know we're all busy I, you know i i work i'm a mom i'm a wife you know i'm a friend you know we do so much so um it's always a good reminder you know no matter how hard things get you know tough times don't last so it's just a little cute quote i don't mean to get all like corny and stuff but and then i have um this week's affirmations and then um it's just stuff that i like to read out loud every so often so i just keep it maybe i will type it some like later on but i have i have unlimited potential everything is happening for me abundance love and money flow to me money flow sorry to me easily and freely receive an abundant amount of gifts through every challenge i am capable of achieving everything that i desire so it's just good affirmations positive affirmations to you know speak speak exist to existence and out loud so i have a self-care checklist that i that i made and then i have a self-care challenge that i started in november um and then this is like a church uh, challenge from my minimal planning and I have gone out for a walk um, I've done a few of these things but I just really like the front for like the self care section so self care and I you know I've been highlighting pink the stuff that I need to do so um that's that and then self-care appointments i got a pedicure and it's a good way to keep track like how much do i spend what day so i'm already due for a pedicure i never did a pedicure um like a month apart but things get busy and then just fun fact the last pedicure my son got a pedicure with my husband and i for the first time he had like a nail that was a little bit ingrown and i kept hurting him when i cut it so i was like let's just take you and then ideal um, morning routine for October. Sometimes things change. It's not it's not just by month, but sometimes we have to incorporate something else in our morning or our night routine. So I'll probably be changing that every month. After that, I have this little um, pl uh, plastic dashboard with pockets. So it has two front pockets from Cat Spresico. And on here are um, some stuff that I got from Simply Doodle Creations and um, Haley's Handmade Co. So I just put it in here for display. Cute, it just adds a little pop of color. And um, I have a daily gratitude and then affirmations and then trackers. Um, this one is a tracker that I wanted to use, so I'll probably use this one instead of another one later on. So that's why it's blank. And then I have um, this back here, nothing much has changed, affirmations and goals and emotions of the day. Then I have a little dashboard. Oh, and I did add, before I move forward, um, holiday cards. So who I'm sending holiday cards to. And um, this cards, um, this cards printable is from plan with B. 
I have this little pocket with some stuff. Again, this is actually, it got stuck in here, so I have to figure out, see it's a little stain. So I have to figure out how to clean it or what I'm gonna do with that. And then this little um, sticker says, or little, little dash insert in the dashboard is um, unique. And then I have this, below, this vellum from Simply uh, Created Doodles also um just to bookmark my family um section so i have my son my daughter and um then i have like a little thing and i have um one for my dog so this one also got stuck i don't know it's something with um these sleeves but this is hustle at heart it's my little my dog's picture and i am brave so i actually wanted to have one of these in front of like my daughter and my son so i can put their pictures so i'm working on that and then i created this for my dog which this looks a lot like her like there's another picture so i thought it was pretty cute um and then a little pause i have her and sorry that noise is actually my dog um have like grooming log, appointment notes, and then it goes to list. So stuff that I want to um, add to my planner, my reading log, my books to read. I've actually discovered Audible and that's like another, probably another separate video. I just discovered Audible and I'm reading some books on there or they're reading it to be reading some library books. My daughter um, is really good about keeping um you know track of her library books but i just thought this was like a good insert and these two inserts are planning with b inserts um discount codes i have if i see a code and i am not going to use it right away i just um add it on there so i have it uh yearly bucket list there's some stuff on here that i we already did i just have to cross them off and then i'm working on some freebies and then i just have some notes um, gift list, um, I'll just show you the blank one. It's a gift list. So I just keep track of like birthday gifts and stuff that we buy, like, um, for who, what we bought them, what store, like the cost and then the item. And this is also like, I pre plan for like birthday parties and stuff, um, on here. And then the planner size is just for reference. Sometimes I do create like freebies and printables. So it's just good to have in here. Um, this is from the planner spot. It was just a, um, like a card. So I just added it on here behind there is like my YouTube ideas, um, or like videos they want to create. If I see a video, I'm like, oh, that's a pretty cool idea. I just add it on there. And then I have my swatches, which my swatch section has grown a little bit. I have swatched the Ohuhu dual tip dot pens and um i added the ohuhu dual tip brush pens and messed up there but just like to um have this here in case i like want to do something like color coordinated which is usually in my other planners or my journals i have these um i have a home section back here and on my home section, which probably this should be in like my um, like care, like self care, but there's some books that I want to read. And then I printed this out from my minimal planner, which is a book log. And you just put the, the title, the start date, the day you finish, and then what you rated it. So I am really, 2023 will be the year that I start reading again. I used to love reading and I just, jumped off the wagon I don't have time but I have to make time so I just put these in there so I can give myself a head start and then comfort movies just comfort tv shows stuff that I want to watch um on Disney plus like on Hulu um recipes to try product products to try some podcast collections um some show trackers so um again because I want to use the same color um dots I kept the dots here in front of the the printable. So um, we are stuck on, I think it's episode six now for this show. This show's done. The Kardashians, I have like one a week. I think we watched three already, if I'm not mistaken. 
uh, season or station 19 just came out season six Grey's Anatomy I think it's season 19 we watched I watched the first episode and they, they release weekly so I'm still to watch a second episode but just wanted to track those um I have the tv series log um from Peanuts Planner Co so I just put it here so I can use this one in the future future Peanuts Planner Co insert checklist I need to check which ones I have and then highlight them this is great to have because I always end up buying like the same printable like twice and um happy mail purchases um, or stuff that I have going on. October movies, which I we already watched. Hocus Pocus and Hocus Pocus 2. And then yesterday we watched another, not or like suspense movie with the kids. Just wanted to write these down so I have them. And on here, on my notes, I have the last time that I cleaned behind the stove. Um, changed the air fresheners. Um, I don't have an insert for that. So I just added it on here. I'll probably create one. But, and then all this back here is my finances, which I can't, can't share those. Uh, my password log. And then this is a thank you card from the Haley's Handmade Co. I just thought it was really cute with the stars and the pink. So I just put it back here. Uh, back in this pocket, I have some pictures. And some appointment stickies. And behind there, I have nothing. In my big pocket, I keep, like, the bell schedule to my kids' school. And then uh, the volleyball, um, like, schedule. So I can add it to my planner. And that is it for today.